much. Just today we have got by far and away the most exciting mech mod I've had in my hands since the Limitless Mod Co's mech mod. This is the Vape from Bogan and Vandy Vapes Bonza kit. I'm in love. I like this mod to the point where I'm really sad that I have to give them away. I'm giving away this one. This is the black and copper one and of course the stainless steel one, seal number one on the Patreon page at patreon.com slash thesis himself. Thank each and every one of the patrons for producing this channel. You are the ones keeping this shit unbiased and unfiltered. With that being said, Ninja Kitties, fuck the small talk. Let's go and get up close and personal with the Bonza kit by Vape and Bogan and Vandy Vape. What's going on guys? Welcome to Up Close to Personal with your boy Thesis. Now real quick, today we've got the Vandy Vape and Vape and Bogan Bonza Kit. I'm excited beyond excitement. Now, biggest reason being is because I've been using it for a week and I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just don't. This is the one that I'll be giving away on the Patreon page as well as this bad boy right here. Patreon.com slash Thesis himself. I want to get to 50 patrons before I start giving away some high-end shit. Hammer of God, Titan 300 watts, so on and so forth. With that being said, Ninja Kitties, let's go and unbox this bad boy and see it exactly how you receive it. Now, just keep in mind this, uh, uh, packaging is the sample packaging for reviewers so I'm not sure what the actual kit's gonna look like when it's finished but this is it thus far and this is the copper and black oh my goodness we got a nice beautiful goodie bag squonk pin right there that's the gold one there and that's gonna be of course with the allen head 510 adapter and of course you got some extra shoes for the bottom o-ring for the rotating sleeve right here vandy vapes warranty card if your batteries are chipped nicked or dinged up do not use them in any application especially having to do with vaping you can short out your device and it can become extremely dangerous doing that now with that being said let me go ahead and give a quick disclaimer this is not something i would recommend for a beginner uh this is something you could easily hurt yourself with if you don't know what you're doing. This is a hybrid mech mod. The battery itself actually protrudes or comes to the top and that's what's making the connection with the RDA and the coils. First things first on this bad boy you're gonna see it comes with the 18650 adapter. Now the sleeves itself is kind of a safety feature so is that Delrin top. You see that black ring on the inside? That's gonna protect your battery from actually making contact with the copper that's there at the top as well as on the bottom right there that black piece. This right here is gonna protect your battery from actually touching and making contact with the copper. Again solid safety feature here is your sleeve itself now this is going to be a thin piece of metal or a sheath rather that sits and aligns with your rda wherever it's at we've got venting on the bottom of the button this feels what is this paint huh i wonder what to use for that it feels super nice i like the way that this feels that copper by the way is so fucking sexy it does have an extra pair of magnets because of course the button is magnetic now again keep in mind if you are a beginner this is a mech mod they are featureless it is just draining the voltage into the rda if you do not understand mech mods in general ohm's law uh, amperage on batteries then this is not something i recommend at all whatsoever now of course you can adjust this pin right here Bouge. You want to make sure that that pops out just slightly above this Delrin ring. So as you push up, you're going to see it protrude just over the top, and that's what you want. The way that I adjust it is simply with my thumb, just like that. Feels just fine. Right there, now it's a little bit closer to the Delrin ring. Bring this back this out till it's about a millimeter or so above that black ring. Perfect. Now this is a 21700 and 2700 and 18650 compatible device. Now in terms of the RDA itself, let's go ahead and pop this on here. This is something very important to take note of. This 510 pin here, you can see is coming out about a millimeter or so above this insulator right there. That's what you want on a hybrid connection. Now let's go and take a look at the chimney first. A10 drip tip. Of course, we got that 510 drip tip adapter, which I do appreciate. Beautiful. The O-rings are going to be on the inside of the chimney right here. We got this beautiful domage going on, which as we know, does aid in flavor. Now this is the 1.5. Now I can't necessarily tell you the differences between the one and the 1.5 aside from the deeper juice well. I do know it's different. It's not gold as well as these are phillips head compatible which i do appreciate i know he likes flatheads i tend to go with the phillips that's just my preference and then right here at the top you can adjust it as we see like that look at that okay so now we're taking a look at the deck here this is my favorite part it's almost like a reverse velocity like this as you pull this out as you go to loosen it that shoe drops not only does it not spin but it's got this little what would you call it a little notch out or almost like a shelf where this thing sits where the shoe sits and that way you can't back it out so it's so far that it drops out of the screw oh guys look at that perfection of course we can drop these out too or pop these up i should say and it sits cockeyed so you have one lead on the top one lead on the bottom one up here and then of course one on the opposing side this is a nine millimeter deep juice well that is insane most rdas are roughly half that five or so four and a half five 
and that's usually more than enough. And for this being nine, this could be a squonker's wet dream. Phenomenal size deck. Me, myself, personally, the way that I like to vape it is either like this. So you got one, two, three, and then plus the five on the bottom. You got eight total, or I'll just knock it all the way wide open. That's about where I like to keep it, especially for clouds. But in terms of just overall flavor, right about there. Let me show you guys this quick build. This is what I'm dripping right now. This is Vaping Bogan's Fair Dinkum. Huge shout out to my boy Vaping Bogan. My ninja, killing it with that. This is a 0.15 ohm build, by the way. You know what I didn't mention? There's these locking points right here, these little divots right there. And it doesn't seem like much, but that alone will lock the body of the RDA in place. That's something I like a lot. That way it's easier to adjust the airflow as well. Now that's airflow coming just from the bottom. Let's back it off so it's the two. You can listen to what that sounds like. Oh my goodness, that's so dense. All three rows open. Almost zero resistance with both sides open completely. I love that shit. Bitch, it's okay, smother the truck is now. With that being said, let's go and get back to regular view, son. Mm. My final summation is this. The Vape and Bogan and Vandy Vape Bonza Kit, in my opinion, is a perfect mech setup. Now the caveat to that is that this is not meant for any beginners. If you're a beginner, stay away from this kit or any other hybrid style mechanical mods. This is by far and away one of the most perfect setups that I've seen come across my desk. All three styles of batteries are covered. I love that kind of stuff. Now I do not know what the price point is. I think it's gonna be around 50 bucks. This is the version 1.5 of this RDA. I wish I would've had the, the, the first version to compare it to, but I've only used the second one or the 1.5 and I'm fucking blown away. The density of vapor is second to none. Watch this shit. Good golly, Miss Molly, this fucking thing hits like a freight train. The button on it is fantastic. I can't believe how strong those magnets are. The fact that you get another set is also amazing. The copper button, look how sexy that shit is. Look at that, look at it. Look at it, beautiful. Indirect airflow, direct airflow, call it what the fuck you want. That right there, as that airflow hits the coil, you can feel the flavor production. It's so hard to explain. Bitches, so here's the deal. If you want a mech kit that's gonna blow your fucking mind for the price, this is where it's at. It is a perfect mech kit in my humble opinion. RDA, you've got the 510 adapter, you've got the 810 beautiful drip tip. It's compatible with three different batteries. It's like having three separate mech mods in one. Granted, it's not stacked, but you don't need to be stacked. Bitches, okay, some of the truckers know what thesis is patented figure of capability scale. Keep in mind that it's featureless because it is a mech mod. However, for a mech mod, I'm gonna give this a 9.5. This is as good as it gets. I know that you can pay a lot more money for a mech setup. You don't have to pay a lot more money when you're getting something of this caliber. It's that simple. Whew. And right now I am rocking that fair dinkum in here. It is absolutely flawless. I'm loving that liquid. Good God, nine millimeter deep juice well. That alone is worth the price. With that being said, my Ninja Kitties, hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Comment below, what do y'all think of the Bonza kit by Vaping Bogan and Vandy Vape? Bitch, it's okay, smother truck is now. With that being said, I wanna tell y'all that I appreciate y'all for vaping with Thesis. It is your boy Thesis, I'm out. Mm.